Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are in the Northern Swamp, east of Canopy Outlook, building a treehouse home. Now, I, I know you're probably thinking, but you said you'd never touch treehouses again. That is true. However, this build doesn't actually include any of those dreaded treehouse foundations, and it was actually inspired by the Isles of Siptar trailer. I'll be using mods in the decoration of this build, a list of which you can see on screen now. Speaking of Sipta, assuming the launch goes well, this will probably be the last build in the Exiled Lands for a while, as I'll be building all sorts of new stuff on Sipta when it releases on PC on the 15th. As usual, this video is indeed sponsored by NordVPN. You can get 68% off a two-year deal when you visit nordvpn.org slash eradyt or use code eradyt at checkout. Stick around until the end of the video to learn more about how to unlock the full potential of the internet with NordVPN. So, without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, we're going to start off with building a bridge, from the ridge near the tree I've chosen over to the tree itself. To ensure proper clipping, I'll be building a column of pillars down to get the stability necessary to count out how many bridge tiles I'll need. When I've worked that out and then connected it to the base plate of the first building on the tree, I'll then remove the pillar section and create a full hanging bridge section. Next I started to build up the buildings on the tree itself. Rather than using the dreaded tree foundations to create ugly, cramped buildings on the tree, I instead used regular square foundations and rather than trying to wrap the building around the tree, I instead focused on making it look like it is instead hanging off the tree. This approach works much better than trying to wrap buildings around, and allows for much roomier structures that have a good flow, and are actually practical, rather than being incredibly cramped and disorganised. If you were dead set on having buildings that wrap around the trees, this would definitely be possible with this format, but I just personally prefer this format for the treehouse designs. Using this format, you could probably even spread a design like this across multiple trees to create an interesting multi-area structure connected with horizontal elevators. As you can see, I connected the buildings mostly with vertical elevators, using stairs for the final structure, and then building a guest house on the opposite mountain just underneath Canopy Outlook, and connecting that house to the treehouse with a horizontal elevator. Next, I built the walls up on each building. I used stable and lattice pieces to build each building two tiles high, including balconies on many of the buildings to make use of the verticality of the tree and show off the surrounding environment. Pretty much all of the buildings are only one floor high, about two tiles. However, on the second highest building of the tree, I did actually create a small first floor, which you'll see more of during the furnishing phase.
Next for the roofs. I didn't try and do anything too complex here as trying to get all fancy probably wouldn't have worked. I just stuck to the basics and tried to create a nice simple roof design above each building. I used the tiled insulated roof pieces in construction to aid in capturing the rustic and natural vibe I was aiming for which worked very well in this design. Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to of course furnish. Approaching the build, I've lit the treehouse with very rustic lighting elements, including bracketed torches and hanging braziers. Entering the build, we first reached the lounge area. This is where the resident would relax, and it's a very comfortable area that has been lightly decorated in a very cosy way. We next reach the office space. This is far more heavily decorated, implying that the resident is an avid reader that engages himself heavily in the study of various arts and practices across the world.
Heading up again, we reach the kitchen. This is much more of a no frills area, strictly being a functional kitchen used to prepare food and drink. Heading up again we reach the main bedroom and a small storage area. But, wait, I've forgotten the first floor of the kitchen, haven't I? Don't worry, I'm sure I remember in about 3, 2, 1, there we go. The first floor of the kitchen building is a storage compartment, packed tightly with various boxes and chests containing all sorts of resources and valuables. Heading back up to the main bedroom, this building is a very minimalist yet comfortable area, connected to the guest house across the way. Reaching the guest house, this is of course where guests would stay. It serves as a nice small area for them to stay, again being somewhat minimalist but still very cosy. And there we have it, a treehouse home in the exiled lands, east of Canopy Outlook. Thanks for watching, as I mentioned earlier this is probably going to be the last build on this map for a while, as Sipta comes out in two days on PC. And to be honest I'm quite looking forward to getting to experiment with some new interesting builds on a map I've never explored before. As I mentioned earlier this video is indeed sponsored by NordVPN. If you want to stay safe on the internet and ensure you can't be tracked by shady individuals, or whilst being able to access Netflix, BBC iPlayer, ITV, Hulu, HBO and more regardless of where you live, all whilst maintaining blazing fast internet speeds, NordVPN is the perfect choice for you. When you use my link or discount code you can get 68% off a 2 year deal, which comes out to $3.71 a month, an absolute bargain price for such a great service that I use almost every day. The software is a small download and it's easy to use one click and you're both connected and protected, and you have full access to the internet. Nord also has very strict policies on protecting your data, meaning you can browse in confidence. Visit nordvpn.org slash eradyt or use code eradyt at checkout to claim this huge discount and get the best VPN service available on the internet, and also help me out a lot at the same time. As always, thanks to Nord for sponsoring the video. If you've enjoyed this video, leave a like and let me know in the comments below if you have any build suggestions for future videos. As usual, absolutely anything is welcome. Don't forget to both follow me on Twitch and join the fun on our Discord through the links in the description. 
Again, don't forget you can get 68% off NordVPN when you use code EROSYT at checkout, or you can go through my affiliate link in the description and pinned comment below. YouTube is currently my full-time source of income, so if you enjoy the content and would like to help support the channel so I can continue to put out the best content possible, do consider becoming a patron. There are multiple tiers of support from $1 to $20, offering many different benefits from a mention in every video to Discord roles, and even sneak peeks of every new video before anyone else. The link to my Patreon is in the description, so if you'd like to support the channel feel free to consider becoming a patron. On that note a thanks to our current patrons Sammy, Sodialot, Randar, Dawnfox, MK Pantheon, Sergeant Swede and Shannara. If you're new here feel free to check out the rest of the content on the channel. There are new Cone Nexiles videos coming every Wednesday and Sunday, so if you like what you see subscribe and ring the notification bell to be the first to see the next video and to join us on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Again thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.